Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Yes, I have the same jumper on because I'm filming the same day. So, I'm on a roll today. Um, I When I was clearing out my, um, well, when I made a start at clearing out my craft room, I was sorting out all my Tim Holtz ephemera and bits and pieces. Now, I have um, these plastic containers with the grey lid um and they're from um george home so asda and they come in a pack of four so you get four different sizes and this is where i keep all my tim holt stuff now because my uh, my shelf shelves were i couldn't con there are too many containers for my shelves so what i've had to do is all tim's new seasoned collection is all in here so this is his botanicals and his ephemera and his layers um and his transparencies and everything they're all in here and then the same with all the snapshots and the photo booth um i've pulled these out because i'm going to use them and the photomatic um they're all in the same box uh so um i've got i've pulled out the collage strips because these have got some wicked bits of ephemera on um, I've also got out my curator, um, my little mini ones. I've got out my labels. Um, I've got, I showed you my photos. Um, and I can't remember what these are called, but they're the ones, the little strip ones. Um, and I love them. And I need to use them because look, um, I use them, but nowhere near as much as I should use them. So, um, what I'm going to do today is. I'm going to make some ID cards with, uh, so I have got the Elizabeth Craft Design tool slide, um, which I might use. Um, I also have the uh, nested circles, the stacked dials in the circles. So I might use those as well. Um, I have some tracing paper for the, I want to put a window on the front of it, you know, like a windowed envelope. Um, and I'm going to use tracing paper for that. Now, these are my bases. So I have um, this green uh, document wallet, which I like, but I prefer this green. Oh, get off. Uh, this is more muted, uh, but they're very, they're very vintagey in feel, even though they're not. Uh, I think these ones are old. They're not vintagey because I bought them from um, a secondhand sh shop. So, but these ones I just got off of Amazon. Um, so, yeah, so I'm going to use these two. I'm also going to use my Manila file folders as well because, well, I just, I, I just love this cardstock, to be honest. So, these are what I'm going to use. And I don't know where I'm going with it. I don't know what I'm going to create. I have an idea in my head and I'm hoping it is going to turn out the same. I'll also, I'm also going to be using my stamps as well. Um, I also have some book paper. I have um, a guest check pad as well. And I have my invoice duplicate book which I might use the actual invoice pages um, instead of the the plain pages that I was, um, I think I've used them all. I have, I've used them all. So I really should use the invoice pages and I need to coffee dye some more up as well, as well as coffee dye this as well. Um, it's got the carbon sheet underneath, so... I might do some of my asemic writing on here and then it will transfer onto there. So that would be pretty cool. Uh, would it transfer? Where's, there isn't there, um, yep, like a flip out. That's what I thought because I thought if I'd write on it, it's just going to transfer. So that flips out, that goes under and then you just write on it. Right, so they're my bits and pieces. Um, I've also got some eyelets and some brads. And I will possibly be using... Oh, now I'm dropping everything. So I've got my tickets that I made. And my vintage tape. I think I'm going to be using that as well. Um, so, yeah. So now I've replenished <laughs> all my stash. I need to use it. Otherwise, I am just just going to be swimming in ephemera and stuff so 
that's what I'm going to be using and I'll let's get started right so first off I am going to take apart one of these I might keep that fold because it is a natural fold of the paper now and I quite like that it's it's already sort of established itself as a fold perfect and I need to measure so what I want let me get my my ruler so if this is going to be my middle line I'm thinking I want so I want three and a half inches um, each side so if that is my middle piece my middle crease sorry so three and a half smack bang in the middle there my pencil and then put a mark here and then a mark at seven and then i'm going to go down the bottom and i'm going to do the same so at seven and one can't really see that line up the marks just like that get my scissors oh this is going to be challenging um right i think i'm gonna cut <laughs> because i don't trust myself i'm gonna cut um just a couple of millimeters away from the line because then if i go wonky ugh, it really doesn't matter which I, I have i mean it already looks like the opening scene out of home alone so um when i cut it down to the height that i want the cards then i can put it in my i can put it in my guillotine Right. right, I'm going to keep that. I probably might use it some point else in the video. Right, so now I want them to be, so they're three and a half deep. Um, I reckon, do, 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 do. I reckon about five. So five and ten. Ooh. Right. So let's get these. Perfect. I love this trimmer. Right, so put that on three and a half. Perfect. And now, what did I say? Five. So if we put that on five. Yep, perfect. And then if we put this one on five also. Perfect. Now I'm not bothered because I am going to, I want the lines, oh, I want the lines at the front. Um, ba, 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 ba. I think I'm going to turn them inside out that one's wonky why is that one wonky all right let's just straighten this out i'm going to keep all these little bits so i've got two of these um and now i am going to do a manila one now to make it easier i am just going to cut 
one. At five. At five, put that bit away. Put the fold on three and a half. Save those bits. There we go. Put this one at three and a half. Make sure it's flush. Save those bits. Now let's do let's take this one apart. This is gonna be too big. Alright. So that is gonna be too big, but because we've got the big boy out, he will cut through. So I'm just going to take, see, like butter. I'm just going to take, um, now it fits. Perfect. Right, so three and a half. Perfect. Keep those bits. And now we want five. Now that was easier than measuring it all out. And five. Right, so three and a half by five. Let's put the big boy back to bed. Now we have our little ID cards. So I yeah. want to cut a window out in this and I think the perfect thing to use for that is chapter three now just like my stamps that I don't I always keep in a box because I always forget to put them back onto the plastic there is an awful lot of my chapter three dies in here oh and apparently my um my tags Right, so I want one up that one. I want them all different. I don't want them to be the same. So that can go on that one. Um, and then a rounded one, maybe down the bottom. Oh, that's too big. So let's put it in the middle there. And then that one down the bottom. And do I just want a little one on here? Two little ones at the top, maybe. Right, so I've got out my, my chapter three dies. And there's a the big one here that goes in the pocket. I mean, it's a bit big. Oh, what about a label one at the bottom as well? It is a bit big, but I want you to be able to see the photo behind. But how cool would it be if we punched out a label as well? Or is that too much? Maybe... Maybe on that one. Yeah, I think that one's definitely going to go on there. Perfect. Right, I am going to get out my specimen slide because I want to use that in another project. Perfect. Right, so let's take out these without disturbing everything. And then we'll have... Square at the top and a little bit too large. This one is just a little bit smaller um, and closer to the top. So, yeah, I'm going to put this back in here just because I know that's where it goes. 
Right, so where's that little pocket gone? Let's put these back over here and I'll put them back after. <laughs> well, I'll try and put them back after. Right, so this is... They're not going to fit through my sidekick, so I'm going to get my big size X out. So I'll be back in a moment. So I have cut, die-cutted all the windows. Die-cutted. Is that even a word? I've die-cut all the windows. So that's one. And these, I like this one. So you're going to have to reinforce that edge, I think. And there's that one. And that one. That one. That one and this one is pretty cool right so what i'm gonna do is i've kept the cutouts as well Lee. let's mark where we want it in fact i think i'm just gonna rip it it's being it's being stuck down anyway there we go and I'm gonna use art for this come on there we go I'm not going right to the edge because I don't want it to seep out. We don't want no seepage. That should be enough. And then We've got seepage. Right, let's get a wipe. See if we can salvage this. Ta-da! Not that I'm really bothered because, you know, it's supposed to be vintage anyway. I don't really want my, my ID card smelling of lemon antibacterial wipe. Right. Right, that suits me. And then we have a nice, nice background. Now I just need something to hide this. Now we know that this is three and a half by five. So what we've got in our etc. pad. Right, I'm going to get that out just in case, but. Also, have my backdrops. So let's see if what's in here. Yes, I reckon there's going to be something in here, one hundred percent, that we can use. So this is the volume four. that that's an option that's an option oh look at that oh right so i think i'm going to use one of those ones get up my trimmer again I'm going to go for the light coloured one, I think. Oh, no, I'm not. Because I do, I love these stains. Right. So, we're going to go for three and a half by five. In fact, I'm going to go probably 
just a little smidgen past that so i it's it it sort of you can still see the green if that makes sense i don't want it to go so I don't want it to go all the way to the edge because I'm going to distress it. Now, what I really should have done is not put that bit on there yet. Could have sketched around it. Another bit of tape. Right. Something tells me we might have to, we're not going to get all these done in one video yes right let's just dress the edges Right, so I'm going to get my walnut stain in normal distress and I'm going to get my vintage photo in oxide. Just like that. Now we can glue it on. And I am going to just get my knife and pick apart some of the paper just like that and then just in that corner and then what I also want to do in this top corner is get my spray just want to spray in the top corner let the water seep in and then I'm going to get my pick you can get your tweezers anything you like and just just drag the paper out just like that and then can you see what it does and then just give it a quick dry and there you go it looks a little bit more aged so you can do that on all corners all the way around i am now just going to distress
Right, now over to this side. Let's ink the inside first before we do anything. This is what happens, you see, when when you, you I wing it. I never know where it's going. I never know what order to do it in. I have an idea in my head of what I want to do, but I don't know how I'm going to get there. I don't know what I'm going to be using to get there. I have a roundabout idea of what I'm going to be using, but... And I kind of like being like that, to be honest, because that, to be honest, is... Well, that's crafting, isn't it? That's how everybody does their crafting. Um, without the prep. I mean, I do prep. Out of, um, I know what products I want to use. There we go. All right, so if we put that there and then let's pick, let's pick a snapshot. Yeah, I think they're going to fit perfect. Oh, could I use one of these? I could use one of those. I think I'm going to use one of those. Um, let's see. Oh, Sailor. That one too. Oh, oh I'm torn. Yep, I'm going to go with the Sailor. And he fits on there perfectly. Right, so let's... Let's glue him down. Perfect. I think once you once you've got all the bases done, it's not too bad because to be honest, um, a majority of it is is going to be stamping. So I want him so you can see him. So we're going to put him there. Or do we put him in the middle? No, I think he looks a bit silly in the middle. Um, down the bottom, maybe. Yep. Or at the top. I think at the top. That's kind of where they always are, aren't they? Or are they? I suppose I could put him over here. We're gonna put him. Put him in the corner. Right, first off, I noticed that these old ID cards, some of them um, have got eyelets in. As if, as if it's, oh, as if it's holding the photo in place oh here we go right there's one. Oh nope don't disappear there's two well, they're both the same i think one's shiny and one's not 
Bruh. Does it matter though? Does it? There we go, too shiny. Oh, do we do gold instead? Gold or silver? The ones in the photo were gold. I'm doing gold. I don't usually use gold. Oh, I've dropped it. Yep, now I've lost it. It's gone into the depths of despair. There we go. I just want to see that, that eyelet tub is like something out of the Princess Bride. Um, base. Right, so let's put that there. And that there. Perfect. We need some washi tape. Right. Put those there. Oh, 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 Is that pink or is it white? Looks like pink. Yeah, no, it's pink. I love it, but not for this project. Um, Tim Holtz. Right, so there's one. Where's my one with the arrows on it? So, I've got the ones out of the... I mean, even though it's not postal... Right, I want to put it across here. Let's put that the other way. You never know. He could have been in the Navy, but now he works for the Postal Service. That's always an option. I'm going to get out some of my Renko tape. Because I just want... A smidgen on the front ear. Just there. And I also want a piece on the inside too. Just like that. It looks like it's been proper battered. Right, now... Oh, that's better. I just I wondered why my dogs had zoomies. Um, it's because it's raining and I let them have... Oh, I'm out of breath. I let them have the run of the garden and they sh we should have called them George and Pepper Pig because they love to jump in puddles. 
Um, but unfortunately, no. They're called Bert and Ernie, so. Yeah. I've just put them inside. Right, I'm going to use... Am I going to use some of these? Um, get the stamps out. Right. Oh, see, I'm so unorganised. I've got stuff everywhere. All right, let's put those up there. Let's put these to the side. That's it. Let's put that back. Come on. Stand your glue up. Maybe even put the lid on it, if you know where the lid is. Oh, we haven't lost another lid. Oh, the lid's on it. <laughs> That's why we haven't we've, we haven't lost another lid because the lid's on it. Right, where are my? Now. And I'm gonna go with that's not wonky, that's not straight, I mean. Perfect. back upside down but you don't mind right, is he gonna be seen stop moving yeah you're gonna still be able to see him right I want something No, I don't want anything coming out the side because I'm going to put a big stamp there. So let's glue him down. I think I've got a bit of a blockage in my glue. better just sort it out sorted out me blockage um i'm gonna put stamp this one and i'm gonna do it in red i don't think i think this is more pink than red but we'll give it a blast and i bet it's juicy so we'll just give it a couple of dabs and I want that to go kind of on there, but not on the photo. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Yep. I like that. I like that a lot. Um... Right, let's put that just there. See, I don't even know this stamp was on here. Oh, it's just popped out. Um, and what have we got on here? I'm going to get out my Kathy Holden because I want a signature just under his photo. Um, I don't think it matters 
which one. I can't read any of them anyway. That's it, just there. Perfect. And then shall we put my favourite, put my favourite number on? Down there. And I'm going to do another. Oh. Right, is that the right way around? Yep. Because these have always got loads of stamps in, haven't they? And then, of course, I've got to have my little approved. It started raining. It is literally pouring down. I do, do love being in my craft room when it's raining. Makes it really cosy. Right, so I need something down here. Something that looks a bit official. So bear with me while I have a rummage. Right, so I've grabbed... Oh, sorry. Knocked you. I've grabbed um, two more sets. I've got school desk and I've got going somewhere. So I'm going to use this one and I'm just going to put it... I think it might fit nope i'm just going to put it down the bottom perfect um is there anything else on here nope but there is on this school desk i want a little smidgen of these just running down the side and maybe across the bottom as well Right, let's see what we've got in our little box of goodies. Um, yep. I think I'm just going to... If you put your tweezers on and twist, 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 it just gives it a little bit of aging. Stick this in the middle of those. Just there. And then... Put 
put that there. Maybe this one. No, the different colour. That one there, and then I want something to join these two. Nope. Yep. Right, where's my teeny attacher? Because this, I think I'm just going to put over his photo. Oh, there's none in it. It's because I dropped it earlier. Right, I'm reloaded. Let's put a... No, put it back where it was. And then, oh, just like that. That's going to show up on the back, but that's fine. Let's see what we've got in here. This one. And then we'll put a stamp on it. in that corner there. Keep moving everything out of the way. Let's see what we've got. Nineteen thirteen maybe? Could be. It could be. This here or put it over that. Filed. I'll just have that. Stamped there. 
Oh, it didn't come out. All right, do we dare? Do we dare? Yes. Well, we dare. And we conquered. I like that. I don't want to go overboard, so I think that is enough now. On here. Right, what else have we got? Um... Correspondence address only. I do want this one on the back. Just there. I think that could look. I think there's do you think it needs something there or does it look the same yeah uh, um right that's that one there I wonder if we could put it on the back somewhere. Just like that. Let's have some numbers. down there and then let's no I think we had that one on the inside maybe nope nope um that one's quite cool. That's why my fingers are always mucky. I don't want to put too much on the front because there's never normally a lot on the front of these. So get the service stamp. Mark that just there. Let's have a look. I reckon the top of this so we just want that bit. And then, just in case, all right, let's open it up. That's easier, so it's not bouncing. Perfect. Right, so I've gone through my ephemera and this is the bit that was cut off of the sheet that went on the inside. Um, but I quite like that um, as um, a tuck because I found, and then I thought putting that there and putting a stamp over it, I found some um, envelopes 
and some business cards for hotels um, and stuff like that. And I thought because this is his ID card, he could have tucked his sort of like letters and stuff just in the back. Um, and there's some tickets there as well. So that's what I thought I'd do. Now, I think I'm going to have to have um, that underneath. Or this. Now, I think I'm going to have this over this side. So let's ink it up. Just a little bit of distress, a little bit more ink, and then so this is the opening section. So just go down three sides. Hold down for a second. Now while that's drying, we'll link this up. I think that might be too big for it. and then I don't want to put it in there yet but that can that can fit just off the top there I think that's too big as well hmm Wonder if we could fold it over. Um let's ink this up. This is too big. I wanted to put a um got this one because we've already used that one. Where's my field notes? This one. I wanted to put that one over the top. But yeah, I don't know if it's I might cut. Because I really like it, but it was just a little bit too big. Right, that's... Now I think that one might be too big. Hmm. Maybe we could use the little one. That's exactly the same as the other one on the inside. It's just a different size. Um, let's, let's do it in red because we've got lots of 
application check. How about we do that down there? On the back and let's do it on the front as well. Mm-hmm. Oh, that one's smudged. No mind. Right, we need... Where's that? I know I have more than one. There we go. I've got a different one on here. Card. Oh, ticket. He might have needed his ID card to go on this on the old Baltimore steam packet. Bayline. Right, let's. Oh, ripped it. Don't matter. I'm going to get me tweezers and just curl it a smidge. And then just go over it. And we're going to slide this. So I'll put this there. And then... Yep, this just there like that. Perfect. And there we have it. A little ID card. Ah, oh, I absolutely love it. I love it. Love it. Look at that. It just genuinely, I mean, all the ones that I've seen online that all the, um, they're selling, you know, like, um, Mr. Cups, he had some on his page. Um, I saw some on Sky Bambi. She found some when she was away that just so many amazing Instagrammers, they find the most amazing stuff. Um, and when I saw them, I was just like, I need to, I need to recreate that. I really do. And uh, I just love it. I know I did six and I've only got one done, but I'm, I'm going to do one a week. So then I've got a whole nice and I'm going to put them in a little file folder. So I've got a whole nice stash of ID cards of people. So, yeah, I'm going to do one a week. I might even do two a week. I'm not going to restrict myself. I'm just going to do them because I have cut them. And yeah, I'm just going to get them done. I absolutely love it. Um, I hope you give this a go. It's kind of passport size, isn't it? So it's perfect. Um, you can also put a page in it if you want so that, you know, you can write some stuff down. That can also be done too. Um, I was thinking about putting some kind of stamp on the front here. Um, but I don't know. I might do. I might not. The ki I was kind of thinking of just like... Put in a field label stamp. So you can kind of still see through. But there's something there. But I don't know. I don't know. I might do that. I might not do that. I just like it as it is at the minute. All the little bits on it. Stamping. My favourite thing to do. The little cards. The hotel card. That's in there as well. 
oh, I just, I think it's great. In fact, I'm going to turn this round because I wanted the old bit to show, but I'm not too bothered now. So let's have that just like that. Oh, I love it. I love it. Everything about it. So happy with it. <gasps> So thank you all for being here, everybody. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you've got any questions, leave a comment. I always answer. And don't forget to hit that bell button as well, because then you get notified every time I upload a video. So have a great week, everybody. And I'll see you next time. Bye.